je vous demande. Mr. Candidate. Je vais vous demander une réponse par oui. I'd like a yes or no answer on this, please. Can you reset it to zero, please? Je vais vous demander une réponse par. I wanted to ask for a yes or no answer on this one, please. Do you attach importance to the monetary dialogue between the European Central Bank and the European Parliament? Yes. Okay. Then, uh, in the written question you received, uh, there was the question that the SND group has introduced that says, will you accept your appointment to the ECB Executive Board if the European Parliament were to vote against it? And your answer is, I'm honored to be nominated by my government and recommended by the European Council, by the Economic and Financial uh, Affairs Council. I'm sincerely hopeful that the European Parliament will also deliver a favorable opinion on the Council recommendation. Est-ce que vous pensez que c'est une réponse? Do you think that is a correct answer? Uh, yes, I mean, I think, uh, as, as was indicated by the chair, it's clear what the role of the ECB is in the, in the appointment process, which is different to the monetary dialogue. So, uh, you know, I think um, I will live with the rules. Uh, I obviously live with the rules as set out about how appointments are made. But let me, you know, emphasize this, because I do follow the monetary dialogue even now, and especially when I was also as a professor, it is a very effective way uh, to hear alternative views, because the papers that you commission, uh, you usually get very good consultative papers, which I read uh, from a range of uh, think tanks and academics. Uh, and, uh, does, you know, you, compared to the press conference where you get journalists asking questions of the president, the more searching uh, dialogue here is important, uh, I think, in holding the ECB to account. So I think it, it is very important. Um, uh, the dialogue is extremely important. Uh, I think it's already uh, very important, and uh, I'm sure that's going to be true into the future. Uh, but on the appointment process, uh, you know, it, it's, it would be inappropriate for me to uh, uh, comment or innovate on, on the laid out appointment process. So, uh, you think that the monetary dialogue is, in, is important, uh, uh, and I think that it adds but you wouldn't mind being a member of the central bank against the opinion of the parliament. I mean, but we're not academics. We're not just here to um, uh, boost the dialogue. There is a reality and uh, the rule of law. And I think that is important. If you look at the situation of uh, the central bank compared to the Fed, well, if the Congress is against a nomination, then it wouldn't be possible. Uh, do you not think uh, that you, well, if you think that monetary dialogue is important, then you should ask uh, the Council to take account of uh, the Parliament's opinion? So, I think uh, for anyone going for the Executive Board, you know, I think uh, it, it would be very welcome to receive the endorsement of, of this committee and the European Parliament in general. Uh, it's also the case that we are not politicians, um, and I don't think, um, you know, I think the design of the nomination process is, is the, should be determined by the political system, not by us. And the design of the nomination process um, has a certain uh, allocation responsibilities now, and it is not for me uh, to, to, to make any innovation to that. Um, of course, in the US, it's a different system where, where the Senate confirmation is, is necessary. Uh, but, I mean, I think, of course, it, it's very important, uh, the view of the European Parliament. Um, and the, the view of the European Parliament, of course, will be considered by the European Council. Uh, so, I, you know, the, the fact that you, you have this um, um, uh, advisory role, it, I think, uh, gives you a lot of influence um, at the European Council. 
Yeah, vielen Dank. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, uh, your um, uh, qualities uh, professionally uh, can't be uh, called into question, and uh, you. This is all part of the uh, process, and uh, the written uh, response uh, to the question from uh, uh, Mrs. Beres, I think, uh, was uh, sensible. But I don't understand your reluctance at the moment. Now, I do think that a member of uh, 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 the the uh, European uh, Centre Bank uh, that insists on independency uh, has to accept democratic structures. And I cannot imagine that uh, the future uh, president uh, uh, would uh, take up office in light of a negative vote. And that uh, would go to you as well as a member of the executive board. That's not something that the parliament can accept. I think uh, in the uh, in next uh, mandate, we're going to have to come up with an agreement, an institutional agreement uh, with the Council, as uh, was done 15 years ago with uh, uh, Mr. Peroso. Before his election, he said that every commissioner that gets a negative vote uh, from uh, the, uh, the uh, parliament with qualified members has to uh, step down. And I think in terms of the independency of uh, the uh, uh, European Central Bank, it's important to have a positive vote uh, from the parliament. And that's something you should work towards and not, and not say it, it doesn't really matter. The other institutions have proposed me. It doesn't really matter what happens. I'll get the office anyway. And so uh, I would ask you to give us a very clear statement about that. Thank you. Uh, just a point, no, because of course you made a question to Ms. Elaine, and I, but, but from an institutional point of view, because I have very much sympathy of what you say. But of course the interlocutors for this is the European Council, so we have the, the recommendation uh, of the ECOFIN, and then we will have the recommendation of the Parliament to the European Council, which has to make a decision. So, of course, it's not a problem of the person. It's a problem of whether this body should, as I think, of course, in the treaty says differently. So we have this small problem that the treaty says is a consultation, so it's not binding. Otherwise, it would have been consent. But, of course, we should address the European Council and tell them how you consider our recommendation politically, especially when we go to the president. That, so, but that's... Uh, just to put uh, your, your question that, in any case, deserves an answer to, to what I think institutionally is, is the appropriate track. So, I mean, I, I'm going to disagree with you that um, if you think I'm indifferent, if you think I think your opinion is unimportant, that's very far from the case. You know, um, as I indicated in my written answer, you know, I would hope to receive your approval. Um, and I think that is a part of the decision-making process, which in the end is with the European Council for the final decision. Uh, so in no way am I indifferent uh, to your opinion, uh, not, not at all. Uh, but equally, it is not for me to make the decision about how this uh, appointment is made. Uh, I, I think th that that is for, for the European institutions to, to decide uh, the process, uh, not, not for a candidate.